I am going to do this, partly because it's completely insane. So what I'm going to try and do is get this at least somewhat so I can get inside of the garage and train, but that might not happen. Because um, as you can see at the minute, I can't walk. So it's going to take a little bit of ingenuity, let's just say. So the first thing I want to do is try and get the light on in there. So I'm hoping that this will be strong enough to, if I can prod the light switch, actually turn it on. And then we'll go from there. That, that'll be step one. There we go. So we have a light on. We've done one thing. This might be quite boring. Um, I will probably talk my usual nonsense, as I do, because this is basically going to be a training session. Um, and then maybe do some technique reviews today. Not 100% sure. So uh, the very first thing, which is the big thing that's in the way, is that bench. Now, this bag is important because it has my keys for the house in it. So I'll tell you what I'll do. I'm going to put that on the step down there for me to grab. Um, and these other bits here as well. So being set out here, um, since the weather's nice. Um, which has been quite good, but now I want to try and get this done. So we shall see. Now it's going to be a test of how um, how much stuff I can do without getting tired, what my driving ability is like, and don't expect it to be that high, um, and also how much weight I can take in this chair without it falling over. Um, I don't even know if this is even on. If it's not, then I'll just look completely insane. Um, so, I'll just start off doing one bit at a time. We are at, tomorrow will be, well, Sunday just gone. So today is Tuesday. So Sunday that's just gone is officially five weeks. I now have the notes from the hospital about my surgery and stuff. So, <coughs> That's really handy. Um, the only thing is though with that, is that the post-op notes on that are difficult, uh, diff different to what I was actually told. Right, first thing to try and do is move this. So I didn't put the um, hand holding bit on this because it would go on here for moving it. So, first thing is, if we can stand this up here, right, let's see how well this goes. So behind this, there's four barbells there. If you wheel these, if you wheel this, both sides go ever so slightly. Um, so it's gonna be a bit of a balancing act to get this to move at the right amount. But, here we go. Oh, I've got, got it stood up. Right then, so now I think I can actually get into the garage. So that was the first big thing, to like get sorted. So I got some friends who said that they can come over, but not yet. Um, so I'm kind of getting a bit impatient and wanting to exercise. And although Rach can move some stuff, I don't want her to end up knackering her back and whatnot because she's already helping me she's already doing a run training and then on top of that i don't if you've followed the videos for longer than since i got injured um i was supposed to be doing a spartan race in it'll be about six or seven weeks time now um but rachel's still doing that so she's training for that as well so i don't want her to get knackered in the process Right, carpet done, <laughs> next. Um, so yeah, I don't want it to get knackered in the process of it. Let's see how we can do this. I don't even know if I'll get in here. This might be the very first hurdle. Yeah, I'm just wheel spinning. Maybe if I lean back, there we go. Lean back here. <laughs> Right, I'm in, I'm in the gym. So now that I'm actually here, I can think about this. I know that sounds ridiculous, 
because I should have thought about it before I came in. But I need to figure out what what to move. So let's see if there's enough. Ah, there's not really enough space for me to spin around in here. So what I think I need to do is those chairs there are on top of the mat. I need to move those chairs out here so that I can move the mat out the way because those mats are too short and not long enough for me to deal with them. Right, that's now just on the edge of this mat. So that should hold it steady. I could have done with my grabber stick. But these handles from a bike will do instead. So let's move these one at a time. So we'll keep the grabber stick there. This can go. I'll just have to lift it up. Rest it on sort of over the top of me. And then we'll move this outside. Okay. So far, so good. Um, yeah, so what was I saying? The Spartan race, yeah. I don't want her to end up knackering herself or something for moving things for me that don't necessarily need to be done. So. I'd rather do it myself. I wonder if it's easier going in backwards instead with it being a bigger wheel. We'll find out. Oh yeah, that is actually much easier. But I'm nowhere near where I need to be. Uh, yeah, so lack of coherent thoughts. Um, I'll tell you what, this is probably, it's either this video is gonna be about four hours long or I'm not actually gonna get any meaningful progress done in the time frame of doing it. Why am I getting stuck? Ah, there we go. Right, so I'm right up to... Hello, I'm in the gym. I'm right up to this mat here now. Um, so what I think I need to do is move the mats off the top of it and then maybe move those mats out the way because they're ones that I would use to deadlift on but I don't need that that raised of a platform at the minute, obviously. The less raised it is, the better. And I'm thinking I'll have to bench, like with the bench basically where I am, but up against the rack, I think that would work. Now, right, this is off the bike in my office. Um, sorry about that. So, chair number two. And what I have to remember whilst I'm doing this is everything that I take out, I'm gonna have to put back in. So I don't wanna go too insane with it. That's no good. Might not even need to wheel it out all the way. Might not even need to wheel to get it all the way out. That'll be fine there for now. So the next thing is that mat that's behind me is to figure out how I can reach that to move that out the way. Question is, is this going to be strong enough to pick it up or is this just insanity? Yeah, no. Not at all. Neighbours just, just driven past and looks very, very confused. The downside is, when I put them in, I wedged them in really tight, so there wouldn't be any lateral movement when I was deadlifting. Um, yeah. This might be the end. This might be all I can do. If I can get up higher on this. Right. If I fall over at this point, don't tell Ray. I'm now on top of the next layer, slightly. So it's that layer above it that I want rid of. Oh, so close. Here we go. 
There we go. Yes. Oh, come on. The other thing is, we're not really training stuff at the minute. I'm super unfit. I wonder if moving this out would be a good idea so it's out of the way. Uh, yeah, so NHS results for all the scans and everything else. And there's a few, like, I understand the majority of it. Obviously, doctor and, and whatnot. So that's not a problem. But there's a few bits that I'm just not 100% sure on. Because I wasn't, I wasn't a surgeon when I was working in the NHS. Yes. I wasn't a surgeon when I was working in the NHS. So some of the specific terminology that surgeons use, I don't know what it actually means. Um, so, on the MRI scan, I'll just go through them on another video when I've got the notes. At the minute, I just want to get this done. So, what was I even saying? I don't know. Right, let's see if this works. Okay, now I'm barely on the edge here. I don't know if I'm going to slip off the edge of the carpet diagonally there. Yeah, and this wheel is now off the floor. <laughs> you see that wheel spinning? Okay. Right. We're out. Have a rest for a minute. So, where we're at now. Oh, actually, that doesn't look too bad. I could move that. Yeah, I'll just grab a quick drink. Um. So, yeah, the NHS stuff. Anyway. Ooh, nearly did a wheelie then. Something I kind of forget about is, so I don't know if you'll be able to see the wheels here, but the little wheels on the front, when they are facing backwards, it's easier to end up tipping forwards. Um, so it's something that's worth bearing in mind for me. As I'm doing this, to make sure I don't actually fall over, that would not be a fun thing to deal with. Especially because Rachel's not at home. <laughs> Just here by myself doing silly things. Anyway, let's carry on doing silly things. So, last time I went up back wheels, now let's go front wheels. Easier to lean back because leaning back more of the weight's on the back of the chair. There we go. Get the brakes on. Fantastic. Oh, so close. Here's where I wish I had more flexible hamstrings. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. And here we have mat number one. Up and ready to move. That's heavy. Whew. I don't think I'm going to be able to move those ones. Um, but at least I've got this one done. Now where do I put it? That is a good question I hear you asking me. I can carry it over my legs, but then where it actually goes. I think down there, where that is. I think I want that moving out of the way. So, if I kind of throw this out of the way. The only thing is, there's five bars there actually, not four. I don't want to risk them falling, and I do want to move this one as well, so I don't want to put more weight down here. But what I suppose I could do is pop this on top of the Nordic. I don't know if the chair will take the weight of this, because I think it weighs about 15 kilos, without me having a counterbalance. And that's if I can pick it up with one arm. There we go. Up. <laughs> and over. 
There we go. Very good. Now, just move that. And now we're getting some progress. So, the next stage is, I want to sort out that stuff there, but the bench is in the way for me to come up here. So I'm going to have to come out, spin around, and move the bench out of the way. And try not to knock the camera over either. Um, rehab wise, I've not been very good the last few days, to be honest. It's been very, very difficult. Like, physically difficult. Mentally, I'm fine. Um, I had loads of messages and stuff from people about that, which is very nice, but like, I don't know if I'm just like, this isn't, it could have been so much worse, this isn't that bad of a thing to have happened. Um, so like, I'm still grateful for all the support and stuff, but maybe I'm just not taking it as seriously as I should, I don't know. But anyway, physically, the last three, four days, I've been, I've been very, very tired, and my legs have just not been, I say legs, it's leg singular, in reality, because, um, I'm just doing stuff on the right leg, to the point of where I locked the brace today, um, back into f uh, zero degrees of flexion instead of 20 and it's not me like giving up or anything but so like maybe four or five days ago I had a really oops I had a really really good like rehab session if you like home rehab like just doing stuff myself went really really well and then uh, the following day, so I got, I lifted this leg and my foot like just about cleared the ground, like uh, cleared the bed, I should say. Super, super pleased. But then the following day I went to try it and the pain in my knee, uh, under my kneecap was more than I could tolerate for the movement, which is very unusual. I don't tend to, I don't tend normally to suffer with pain too badly um, so that wasn't fun and then after that it's been quite uncomfortable and although I don't uh, take morphine as much as possible I do have it to the point of where I was very strongly questioning taking some here we go <laughs> this is going to be a wheelie Hang on, let's think about this here. Weight forwards. There we go. Much, much easier. And now I'm right on the right on the edge. Oh no, I'm not. No one near the edge. <sighs> We're getting somewhere. So this. Don't need this anytime soon. This is kind of just in the way right now. In fact it might even be broken. I'm gonna kinda just pop it there out of the way so I can move these bits instead so chair I want that moving and then these mats that I'm under I'm wondering if I should have them all the way to the rack or just not at all um, that might be a thing that I can't actually control I'm not sure um, but there's actually some space now to kind of get in here. I don't think I'm going to be able to move these mats that I'm sat on out of the way. And so what I'm, let's chat. I'm going to fall backwards any second now. There we go. So, is there anything bad me? No. So what I kind of envisioned in my head is that I basically want to try and make a path down there so that I can actually get through the garage. 
I don't really have a strong reason why. Oh, I think the reason is so if I can get down there, I could move stuff. So at the minute, if you can see, I'd have to basically parkour over that. So actually, what I need to do is relatively straightforwards. I just need to move that wooden piece and the mat that's on top of it so that I could wheel over it. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to pause this and text Ray because she's out and she wanted me to let her know that I've not done anything silly. All right, here we go again. So I don't know how well, you, how well you're going to be able to see me, if at all, because um, of the lighting situation, because it's so sunny out. But I'm going to try anyway, and we'll go from there. So first thing is this piece of wood down here. I want that moving, because I can probably wheel the bike outside, so that shouldn't be a problem. Oh, come on, come on. Why has this been so awkward? I remember, weight needs to go backwards, doesn't it? There we go. It's like technique of lifting. So weight backwards at first, and then weight forwards second. Ah, still not used to that. Right, now let's see if I can get this piece of wood off the floor without falling over. Oh, that was really easy. <laughs> I thought that was gonna be really difficult to do. Cool, next thing is this mine. So the only things that are on top of it is that mat that I was on and then those bars. So I should be able to move, well, apart from the fact that it's really big and gonna be awkward, I should be able to move this. What I could do with is being in the garage side onto it I don't want to hit anything. Yes. Here is going to be just about perfect. So I'm on and off this at the minute. Now we'll see if I can get this up. That's what she said. Okay, that's the first step. That's moved. hold of it. I don't know if you heard that pop, but that was my spine. Oh. So, I reckon if I can get that over there, that'll work. Might just need to move that little stool. I can always put that back. This feels like a proper training session, except it's not rewarding. It's not very rewarding. I don't get to lift anything heavy. Super hot. It's basically like weak, strong man, isn't it? Probably enough now. Has anyone actually watched this? Hmm, be good for future me. So yeah, the rehab the last couple of days hasn't been good. And then today the weather's gone nicer. So come outside for a bit. Um, just a bit of a change of scenery instead of sat in the same living room. I'm gradually doing more and more stuff for myself. So although the direct quad rehab itself hasn't improved significantly, this has like just general life stuff. This is gonna look like I've not done anything to anybody else, but I'll know, I'll know what I've done. Um, it definitely was an insane idea to think I was going to be able to get this to where I could actually train 
today. Now, I'm just wondering, so the mat that is on the floor there, I'm wondering if I can get that further across so it's not so jaggedy um, down there to get past with stuff. Hopefully that makes some kind of sense. Wheel spinning again. It feels so strange when it does that. Again, that's because I was lent forwards instead of backwards, so my weight wasn't on the back wheels properly. And we're spinning around. Ah, clouds are black. That might be problematic. Although, say, well, it'll be problematic because the ramp up to the house, if that gets wet, I'll be stuck. <laughs> I won't be able to get back up it. Ah, that would be funny, though. I mean, not for me, but for anyone watching. Or I think it would be funny. This might be fine to get through. I think this might be calling it a day. I'm not 100% sure. Let's see how this goes. So I'm onto here and I can touch a weight. So that feels like progress. This bike, can I get the bike out? I think what I might be best to do now is stop here and wait until I can get help. And so the help I can get from Rach and get her to move her bike. So that's out of the way, because that's not a heavy thing, she would move that anyway. And then I can start to wheel things around where I need them. All I need to do now is figure out where I want to put stuff. So stuff can more or less just go back in as it is. And then since it looks like it's about to rain, I will um, probably go back into the house. So for now, I'll just get these bits back in. This probably doesn't look like I've done much at all. But I feel like I've done something. Even if it's not like a real something, it feels like I've trained, it feels like I've exercised. So for now, that will have to be good enough. That's gonna need moving. Yeah, it's just started raining. Excellent timing. So the chairs can just go back they were, where they were. Or even down here is not too bad because they're not going to be in the way of anything. And the garage door should close behind them fine. <gasps> just going to double check it will. And then the bench will be the next thing. And then those little boxes <gasps> after that. Bench will be the most awkward one to get in. Um, so we'll see if I can actually manage that. Right. I don't know if you can see this. Question is, do I bother moving the camera so you can see what's going on and spend more time trying to get sorted? Or do I just try and get sorted so that I don't get rained out? Oh, I forgot brakes. Brakes on. So, brakes on here. Lift the bench up so I can start wheeling it stuck on a tile there brakes now off start trying to wheel the bench without it pushing me forwards uh, I feel like I've reached an impasse here with how well this is going to go 
this might just be a very slow process. Wheel a little, brakes on. Wheel a little more, brakes off. Brakes on. <laughs> Wheel a little more. I bet this is painful to watch. Like painfully slow. You know what? There's other people that they have this exact same operation done and they're walking within two to three days. Now, it's down to the individual surgeon what your specific protocol looks like. It's obviously different person to person. Um, so mine has gone for a more conservative approach, which to be honest, I'm quite happy about. But also, I think that's partly in due to, partly due to the nature of the injuries that I've had, making it so that uh, the injury is, it's not a clean injury, especially on my left hand side. So, I mean, that seems sensible as a reason. But it just is mad to me that people are walking so soon after this. Like, I couldn't imagine doing that. I can't even imagine at the minute squatting or anything. Neighbours coming past again. It just seems so basically impossible. What was I doing this for? I wanted to pull the carpet in when I could just fold it in. That was a waste of a wheelie. And now I've gone over this. Brilliant. Right. So I didn't need to do that. All I need to do is finish getting the bench in. It's still raining, but it's not like raining here. It's raining just over there. Do you know like the whole thing of where people do the videos of them walking places and stuff like that? Yeah, I'm not gonna do that of me going up the ramp because then I'd have to stop where I'm at on the chair, wheel up the ramp, get in position, and then wheel back up the ramp. You just don't think that would be very easy thing to do. I basically would have to go up and down the ramp an extra time or two. Come on, fit, 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 fit. Yes. So we've got a bench inside, but I want to put it up against the wall. I don't know if I'll be able to. And it's like still just spitting. If it starts to rain bad, then I'll obviously have to stop. Oh. And then when we get in, I might do a bit of technique review. I've got, I've still got a bunch to do for the free ones. So I'll see, I'll see how long the video is as to whether or not I do do that today, or if I leave it and do it another day. Here we go. That'll do. So one way it'll come back onto the wall, the other way we'll come back onto the floor. That's gonna be it for today. And Rach could still get her bike out here fine. Um just stick this back in. And then we'll go inside. And we'll maybe chat then. I need like a selfie stick thing that attaches to me because I need to use both hands for going up the ramp because otherwise I might slip. Don't fancy doing that. Although like I keep saying it would probably be quite funny. Ah, whilst I'm here use this for the light. <coughs> Pop this down there. That's done. Roll up the carpet. Pack up these bits. Go in the house. The tripod that you're on actually 
is a bigger, stronger one, I will put that in the garage rather than take that one in the house. So unfortunately, you're going to be got rid of before I close things up. So I don't know if this was actually useful for anyone, but this is a realistic view of how long things take. So this would have been, in my mind, 10, 15 minute job to organize. And the, the tiny little bit that I moved would take two minutes, possibly three. Like basically no time at all to do it. But it's just taken so long. I need to get something to weigh that down. It's just taken so long to do it. Right, move this out of the way. Hope that I don't fall over. And then. Move that. Put that over the top. Pooped. And the next thing is find the keys for the garage. They're going to be down here in my stuff. I'm going to I'm gonna need to carry all this stuff back in. So I carry some stuff on my lap. As long as it doesn't get, I don't know what you can and can't see. But as long as it doesn't get too high on my legs, it's not too bad. Um, I probably need to make a thumbnail for this, don't I? So if I do this, stand here, here's my thumbnail. Pretend I've got muscles or something. Right, I'm going to turn you off now um, and then go back in the house. Maybe see you in a minute. Maybe I don't. So, I did the tiny little bit in the garage and then I've come in and I managed to get myself back onto the bed, which is here. And I'm halfway through moving the commode back into position. But there is also, I don't know if you see it, that stool there. I need to get that here where I am and get the commode over there. And I ended up falling asleep for like 20 minutes. It's laid here, kind of like at the end of the bed. So I don't know if you'll be able to see how I am now. So I'm like upside down on the bed. So I need to get the commode to here and then I need to, well, commode or chair. And I've just accidentally pulled the back out of it. So I'm going to try and sort this out. Um, and that's going to be the end of today's video. Um, I'll do some technique reviews and stuff tomorrow. Um, well, whenever tomorrow's video gets uploaded. So that should be it for today. Um, yeah, take care, guys.